resources are taken away from the people. Education is defunded. Transportation is defunded. Housing goes down the tubes. People are out on the streets, don't have food. Um, this is why that happens. Um, the IDA exists all over the state, and there are similar programs in every state throughout the country. Um, talk about the national deficit and the money that we don't have, um, our national infrastructure going to hell, our uh, education system throughout the country, closing schools, 17 in Chicago, they're, they're ready to start doing that stuff around here. Um, it's not right. Carl Paladino's got his own money, he can spend his own money, he's gonna make money, and we're not gonna get that money. Mm -hmm. um, it's irresponsible. I appreciate you, Betty Jean Grant. I know that when we spoke up the last time, you had concerns. Um, you were uncertain of what it what it really looked like, so you wanted to feel that out. Um, I know that the board members don't necessarily have to be here, and I appreciate that you did take the time. Um, it's important that you, that if you if you hear what the people are saying, that you be the voice for the people. Everybody's been working really hard because they understand how messed up this is. Um, people are trying to develop a voice and be heard. And I don't know. I, I mean, you can all feel it. You can all see what's wrong and what's right. And this isn't right. And it's your responsibility. Thanks, Bob. Thanks, Bob. history in Buffalo and it's a shame that it's just turning into this big hodgepodge and that people don't seem to have a vision of the future for Buffalo. My vision is what I see in little spots all over the world that people are starting to realize that the earth is running out of resources. And it's getting harder and harder to find uh, the energy uh, that uh, the um, fossil fuel energy that we seem to be addicted to. And uh, the buildings that we live in are basically uh, gas hogs. Our, our, our architecture is really hasn't developed very well. They're, they have windows now, that's common, that you have uh, insulated windows. But there are buildings being created in uh, this country and others where they actually use zero energy and actually create energy. So Carl Palladino is planning to just take the oldest remodeling system he can do and ask us to subsidize it. I mean, <coughs> the remodeling that they're doing in Buffalo is really ancient. Mm -hmm. And we have to come up to new standards mm -hmm. and I just hope that Buffalo joins the 21st century okay. mm -hmm. and yeah. starts, stop starts the lack of, uh, starts conserving energy and producing energy from sources that aren't destroying the earth. Absolutely. Great. Officially closed. I think, uh, I think we should leave, bring this to a people's vote. <laughs> 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 All in favor? Hey. Hey. See you guys next week. Okay. Good. See everybody here on April 16th to read your Signs priceless. <laughs> Who's business? Yeah. Are you gonna, what, what, so you like to better? You called me. You called me Saturday. This is very surreal. When was it they uh, gave a hearing and nobody came except us? Uh, first hearing we went to, we were the only four people there. 
Uh, next meeting, a couple people from the Millennium Hotel showed up. This meeting, no one from the Ellicott Development Company showed up, but a lot more of the people showed up um, to speak out. And I see that as a trend that's actually going down at this point. Yeah, so where, where are they going to have the vote if it's not actually going to be in front of the people whose livelihoods and sense will be affected? You know, that's crazy. Um, well, they're, they're going to vote on it next week, and well, 17 out of 18 of the board members are going to come to the public hearing. You know, they want that meeting to be spectator only, so no one from the board can actually hear what the people want to say. So the same thing at the NFTA public hearings where there's 17 hours of statements and no attention paid whatsoever by the, the appointed officials um, making decisions that affect like tens of thousands of people's lives. And you have the whole county being affected by these type of tax breaks and just a, a strong resistance from uh, the appointed officials on this board to really give a damn about what the people have to say about it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.